Major health news from the nation's capital tonight. The president says 8 million people are now signed up for Obamacare. Now, the question is right now, exactly who are those 8 million people? Fox 17's national correspondent Christine Verzow takes a look at why that number may not exactly mean that 8 million people have health care now who didn't have it before. It seemed from whichever way you looked at it, the news was positive. The enrollments for Obamacare had exceeded expectations for the Obama administration. We now know that the number of Americans who've signed up for private insurance in the marketplaces has grown to 8 million people. 8 million people. Over the weekend, supporters of the Affordable Care Act touted the law's success. 8 million people uh, have gained health care coverage as a result of signing up for the Affordable Care Act plans. 129 people with pre-existing conditions no longer have to be worried about being dropped or denied coverage. I'm one of them as a breast cancer survivor. But that number, 8 million, is leading to questions about just who might be included. Are they older or younger? And how many people who signed up on the exchanges did so because their previous insurance plans had been canceled? Elizabeth Carpenter is with Avalier Health, a health consulting firm in Washington. We also don't know how many of that 8 million have paid their first month's premium to truly effectuate coverage. And kind of looking ahead longer term, um, it will be interesting to see how many of those people who pay their first month's premium stay enrolled throughout the entire year. She says there's also the matter of people picking out plans that may or may not be the best plans for them. And what we're seeing based on the data that is being released is that people are picking plans based on premium. And certainly the lower premium plans at this point appear um, to be getting the most traffic. Lower monthly payments, though, could equal higher out-of-pocket expenses down the road. Carpenter says that the important thing to remember is the Affordable Care Act will still be evolving for some time and will neither live nor die in 2014. I'm Christine Frizzell, Fox 17 News.